Just two weeks from today, and grocery prices are still high. Many families are struggling to maybe get that turkey on the table. Savannah Harrison spoke with the Ozarks Food Harvest about how you can get some help and uh, a little help maybe some others this holiday season. Savannah, good morning. Good morning, Chad. Well, many of us will be spending a lot of time in the kitchen over the next few weeks prepping those Thanksgiving meals, but not everyone is so lucky. That's why Ozarks Food Harvest is working tirelessly to get food on the table for thousands across the Ozarks this holiday season. Now, used to, Ozarks Food Harvest said one in eight children or adults fought food insecurity here in the Ozarks. Now, that has since increased to one in five children and one in six adults with food more expensive than ever. Many may be struggling, and it can be particularly prominent around the holidays. Ozarks Food Harvest says it has been doing what it can to ramp up distribution to help more families in need this holiday season. So an example of what we do to ramp up right now is we will purchase turkeys for the holiday season. And so that has actually experienced a lot of growth. So we had originally ordered about 6,000 turkeys to distribute across our service area. And due to demand, we've actually increased that to 8,500 turkeys this year. So we're just from that one variable, we're seeing a significant increase in the demand for food. But we want to make sure that we're there for those families right now. Now, Ozarks Food Harvest is expecting to get a donation from McDonald's and Tyson Foods today of 40,000 pounds of protein, but they can still use more help this holiday season. They tell me that $1 can be stretched into $10 to buy food for families here in the Ozark. Now, if you can't give a monetary donation, they are always looking for volunteers to help pack thousands of pounds of food throughout the week. And if you're struggling with food insecurity, you can head to our website, ky3.com. Click on this article. We'll have resources for you there. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Savannah Harrison, KY3 News.